This is GED teacher Damon Tennant, and in this video, I am going to show you how to graph an equation of a line. This is very important for the GED test. It's important because the GED test includes linear equation type questions, and so you may see something like this question on the GED test. So here we go. The first step we're going to do is simplify it, and the first thing I'm going to do here is just grab a pen. And we're going to simplify it by pulling the 2 out. And when we're simplifying with equations, we always do the opposite. So here, 2 and y is a multiplication operation. That's 2 multiplied by y or y multiplied by 2. So we're going to do the opposite of multiplication, which is division. So we're going to divide this side by 2. And also, when we're simplifying equations, we... If we do it to one side, we also do it to the other, so that 2 cancels. And now, conveniently, we have y there. And then 4x divided by 2 is 2x. And then a minus 10 divided by 2 is 5. So now we have this equation simplified. Now, the next thing we have to do, and this is the thing that catches up so many students. They don't know what to do here. And I want to say it. Uh, and I want to say it clearly. All you have to do is start with the number 0. Plug in a value 0 for x. And then you'd be able to solve for y. What do I mean by that? So we have this equation over here. I'm just going to write it over here so we have a little bit more room to play with. So I'm going to plug in a value for x. And so I'm just going to choose 0 as I said. So Because any number... Multiply it by 0 is what? Of course, 0. So now that 2 times 0 is 0, and that just leaves us with a negative 5. So now I have a point 0 and a value for y. Then the next logical point to plug in is 1. So y equals 2x minus 5. We're going to plug in a 1 here now. So 2 minus 5, and if you know anything about adding and subtraction between positive and negative numbers, you know that's going to give us a y equals a minus 3. If you need help on that, you can visit my website and look at my other video series. But now we have another point. We have y. Uh, x is 1, and y is negative 3. Now we have two points, so now we can graph the line. So we come up here on the x-axis right there, and we start with 0. And then negative 5 on the y-axis, and going down is negative. So we're going to plot that point right there. Then we're going to plot the next point on the x-axis, 1, and then minus 3 on the y-axis. <clears throat> and then we have a line. Sorry, my line is not perfect, but you get the point. And so that is how you graph it the equation of a line. Again, this has been GED teacher Damon Tennan. For more information, visit my website, www.mygedlive.com. Thank you.